hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to test our homemade ESP8266 Arduino PLC with Visorino in the last tutorial we did a test with open PLC today we will use Visorino and then we will see how easy to test with Visorino as well let's get started subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos okay so we have our board our input is made up of D4 D5 D6 D7 and then an analog input A1 and then our output is made up of D0 D1 D2 D3 and then an analog output a0 great we'll now move on and then start Visuino to do this I search for the Visuino app if you've not done the download you need to do that there's a free version that you can make use of okay I create a new project and then save it as ESP8266 PLC test I click on save I say yes and then save again okay double click on the board and now I need to select the ESP board this is the D1 mini so I select it as such great and then I click on OK now this is how the board looks like in Visorino okay now let's address the pins input pins we said is d4 d5 d6 and d7 output pins d0 d1 d2 d3 and then we can see that to write to the pin we use the in and then to read from the pin we use the out great now let's wire it up so that we turn on our relays with the inputs to do this I grab this section and send it to the first output grab this section also send it to the second output and then grab this input send it to the third and then grab the final one and send it to the fourth output believe it or not this is all what you need to do to get it working to compare I click on this and now activate the monitoring screen and then I click on the compile and download we, we can see compilation is done now I supply 12 volts and then go to the second input third fourth second third fourth the first is already active great we now connect this to our LCD to do this let me take off the ESP and then I need to free these two ports so that the LCD can have access to the I2C pins so I fix it back and remember this will disable two of the relays okay this is the LCD and then I connect it as such ground positive and then we have the I2C pins being the third and then the fourth pin great now to set it up or to configure the LCD I delete all these connections and now search for the LCD block okay we need the I2C one so I drag it onto the canvas position it correctly and now connect the output to the I2C port of the block great and now double click on it and this is the element window 
now this is the test to display test this is your custom characters and now I need a test so I drag this onto this section and I need two of them one to display first item on the first row and then the second to display on the second row great now I come to this section open the element and now move to the test field we can see these are the settings now the initial value I need to specify what test I want to display so I say engineering make easy on this particular line and then everything remains as such I now move to the second test and then I need to show that this is going to appear on row 1 and now the message I want to display I need to type it right here at the initial value and I say ESP8266 PLC test great and believe it or not this is all what we need to do so I now click on the compile and download and then monitor it at the base section of our IDE we can see the, the download is ongoing download is done and we can see the display on our screen it worked perfectly now what if we want to display the status of the relays to do this I double click on this and open the element window again now I click on the first item and then I can edit it directly so I say relay one colon and then on the next test that is the second test relay two colon and these are the fixed text I want to display and now bring in the, the guitar field so that I can read data from the relays to display okay so I need to the guitar field I click on this and then edit the property the row this will appear on row one and then it will appear on column nine I want it to be off when it's logic zero and then on when it's logic one and then I come to the second sorry the first has to be row zero rather so I change it and I move to the second that is nine and change it to row one and then zero is off and then true is on great so this is the changes I need to make we now check all the changes I click on the next click on this very one and then the final one and everything seems to be okay to do this I first need to also pick the status of the output and input pins so I need to do it just as I did for the previous example okay great now I need to send the relay status to the LCD and I do the same for the second relay as well great and we can see this is how the logic is going to look like I click on the window and then I click on the compile and download we can see downloading is ongoing okay it's downloading download is done successfully and we can see our display relay 1 showing off and then relay 2 also indicating off I now send 12 volts to the first second input and we can see relay 1 is on I send it to the second relay 2 is also on working perfectly so in this video we've been able to test our ESP board with Visreno see you in the next tutorial bye bye